Hello, welcome back to Creator on Wheels and yes, this is Shiv. I'm back again after almost two plus months of break and I hope you guys are doing happy and healthy. I know it's been a while and of course you all knew there was a very valid reason for this long gap between videos. I think it was in early April that I last took my bike out or probably I last stepped out of my house and um, I think it started to snowball somewhere around mid of April the whole second wave of corona covid 19 thing and then you know it was like almost two months of lockdown and today 21st of june 2021 it's a kind of like first proper full unlock of the second wave of lockdown so please don't try to judge me that it's the very first day of uh, unlock and I'm already out on the road. No, please don't do it. So it's just that my bike over the last two months was crying left, right and center, pleading me to give her some food and take her out. But the situation was not at all convincing enough to do that, not even to go out and get some fuel. But uh, today I just thought like I will uh, take her out fuel it up and then probably go for a very short ride no i'm not going to any specific location though you can see uh, the maps on but i'm just taking some crossroad uh, parallel to the nh4 and i just don't want to be lost and get stranded here that's why i have my maps on leading to a certain location but uh, not going to any specific hotel not going to any specific location not getting down anywhere it's just a very short ride um, probably i'll uh, ride for about say like half an hour or 45 minutes and then i'll head back home nothing else apart from that having said that it is 21st of june 2021 so happy world motorcycle day happy world yoga day and happy world music day three special events on the same day and the kind of happy unlock 2.0 for all those in Bangalore and um, yes as I told hoping that everyone is safe sound not this kind of a sound but um, I hope everyone is safe and uh, the last two months was not as uh, terrible as what it turned out to be uh, I hope your family members and near and dear ones are all safe. Having said that, um, I just wanted to, to emphasize on two specific points in the very beginning. I'm not really sure, I'm not prepared anything for what I need to talk and all. But I want to emphasize on two very specific things in the very beginning of the video before you jump off and um, get bored of my blah 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 stuff. First thing first, Today is also a day, 21st of June, where the government has started its uh, uh, mass vaccination, mass free vaccination for everyone 18 to 45. Please, yes, I'm telling you, please, if you are eligible, please do not refrain, go and get yourself vaccinated. Please don't be choosy about which brand of vaccine. Again, I, I don't want to drive your decision, but don't step back telling that oh covaxin is not available or sputnik is not available i'm not gonna take that i'll wait for it no please don't do it please secure yourself from all the things that are happening around us you know how the last two months were so better go out schedule something for in the nearest uh, bbmp phcs or uh, health center whatever get yourself vaccinated the second dose wait time is more i know it's about 85 days but at least get your first shot done as soon as possible we don't want to get into one more round of mess probably in the fag end of the year so better be safe than sorry that's what i would like to say and if you remember i have over the last six seven months or even more i had been repeatedly telling 
I'm emphasizing, please go back and check my videos. I had been repeatedly telling the lockdown was required in the beginning of this year, not the type of lockdown what we had in the mid of last year. The lockdown was required in the beginning of this year. And I emphasize it so much because so many people were traveling across district, across state, and things had become very casual and people are like not bothered at all. Okay, though there were like the, the concept of social distancing and hand sanitizer and all, the numbers were just a reflection of how bad we people made it happen. That's all I would say. Lack of preparedness for all these things is definitely something we should blame ourselves for. We shouldn't have got into the situation at all, I would say. Definitely not. Uh, but having got into it, I know how terrible time it was in April and May. And from whatever sources uh, I've been getting information from other than the media, the press, the paper and all those things. A lot of people who were working in the front line, the true front line, uh, they have been telling that the numbers have significantly come down. So it's not any fake or false numbers that are being projected on uh, TV or in your newspapers. So genuinely the cases are dropping, but please don't lose your guard. Please be safe. Please make sure that as much as possible until this thing stabilizes, uh, stay at home, stay away from people. And uh, as I told you, please get yourself vaccinated. The second thing that I wanted to emphasize on was related to an incident that happened just last week. For those of you who are from Bangalore or Karnataka, know that a very popular upcoming young actor lost his life while uh, he was riding pillion in the middle of the night. Uh, the reason that is being stated that he was out to get medicine. He was one of those guys who, who was doing a lot of uh, work with respect to uh, this COVID case management, helping out people and coordinating things and all that. But it looks like he was out to get some medicine in the middle of the night. Uh, the bike in which they were traveling um, lost control, it skidded, um, they fell down. His head hit a pole, which was, uh, I think, in the divider or something. And uh, there was a very severe uh, injury to his uh, head, which in turn led to his death. Now, why I'm bringing up that point as an important thing is, the more I read about it, I realize that uh, the two guys who were there, one of them who lost the life, the actor, both of them were riding a super bike. Apparently, it was a FC1, if I'm right, a 1000 C bike that they were riding. And both of them were not wearing a helmet. If at all, I'm telling you, if at all, if they had worn a helmet. Doesn't matter what speed they are riding or whether it was raining or not, whether they really hit the pole. If at all, if they were wearing helmet, his life could have been saved. And that's exactly the point that I wanted to tell you. It doesn't matter if you're going out for a very short work. It doesn't matter, matter you're going for a, a breakfast ride. It doesn't matter you're going for a weekend trip or probably even a long trip. Now or in future, please always wear helmet. That's my biggest request. I know a lot of people take it very easy. I'm just stepping out of the house. I'm hardly riding 100 meters, one kilometer. It's in a crossroad. I don't need helmet. There will not be police. You wear helmet not to protect yourself from the police fine, but to protect yourself. Don't be like the moron who is right in front of me. Both of them are riding a bike. They have two helmets, but both of them are not wearing it. So don't be like them. Please wear helmet. So that's the two very important thing that I wanted to uh, tell, which is get yourself vaccinated. And make sure that you always wear a helmet when you're out riding. Flashback. Now, back to where I was and what I was doing. And um, I just realized over the last one to two weeks that uh, quite a few people were trying to reach out to me on social media uh, for whatever good or bad reason. And 
they didn't get any response from me yes i have a reason for that apparently oh, in the middle or like fag end of april is when i just decided the things the, the scenes that i were seeing all the chaos that was happening it was really depressing to be very honest it was really very depressing and uh, wherever and how much ever possible i was able to help i could help but the more the cases started getting and the more the pleading started online asking for things so many people including me i i kind of started feeling helpless like there is nothing much we can do and there were situations wherein the government was trying to intervene and tell that there should not be any social media campaigns or any website to consolidate oxygen information medicine information and all those things that was kind of like pissing me off it's it's not just me let me be honest it's not just me a lot of people who were working uh, for this it was really um, not a good phase and that's when i took a decision that uh, starting may 1st 2021 i would stay away from all these things i mean it was not at all helping me personally so i just thought like oh, i know it is not a right decision but um, i just decided to get away from all the social media stuff which included but was not limited to twitter instagram and uh, it, even uh, whatsapp for that matter i just uh, removed whatsapp from my uh, phone as well so i removed all of those is just that the last two months may and june were kind of i would say a blessing in disguise it was really very peaceful i know it was really difficult uh, for me to stay away from doing things which would probably help people but i i couldn't do anything i mean it was like i just had to take this decision to move away and while i was away i realized that i mean that was obviously a reason that i was not active in any whatsapp group that i was a part of or anyone who tried to reach me on either whatsapp or probably on instagram messages i never got those messages because i don't have that app or nor i have logged in in browser anywhere so i'm really sorry guys uh, a lot of you who called me over the last one or two weeks told me that they had messaged me long back they didn't get a reply and they were like worried sorry if i created any confusion or any panic for not being responsive but uh, again i am all safe and sound and just to clarify yes my the my entire family including me our first dose of vaccine is done uh, so it's just a matter of another few weeks that uh, we will be done with our second doses as well so i am all safe and sound everyone at home is all good so it's just that the situation was not really something which i was ready to continue bear it that's why i just had to get off the social media i'm not really sure when i'll be back because uh, while i was away i kept myself occupied with a few projects that i wanted to do for a very long time um, there was a community or a platform that i wanted to build for travelers and uh, i all the time all the time that i saved by not being on social media i spent that uh, in building this platform i'm just like few weeks away from launching it uh, it's something related to travel it is something related to exploration and stuff like that uh, it's a very simple uh, mvp or a poc that you can call it that i have prepared uh, all on my own single handedly so i spent the last one and a half two months doing that and it was really very uh, refreshing i would say a uh, much required break from all the social media stuff and uh, i could spend some quality time doing it because i had kept it parked for almost uh, one and a half two years now so finally I, i was able to do something around it so that's how things were um, i'll probably do another video in another i would say like two to three weeks explaining what uh, it's all about i'll give you complete details i'll share all the links those of you who are interested can definitely uh, log into the platform or rather create your account and start doing things but i'll explain you what do, what do i mean by start doing things so that's pretty much how the last two months were and as i told you i'm all safe and sound nothing to worry 
and i told you that i was away from social media but one new platform that uh, kept me little bit occupied when i was not doing any of the coding or development work was clubhouse i was on clubhouse since quite a long time on ios but uh, the android version of the app just got released a couple of months back and there was like a huge huge surge in the users and a lot of clubs and a lot of rooms started popping up so i had subscribed to a few uh, clubs and uh, i just attended few i mean i just listened to few rooms and just in case if you guys are not on clubhouse i think you should try it out it's nothing intrusive like uh, youtube or um, instagram so it's just that you just join a room and you just put your phone away and you can just listen to it while you're working or certain things some convers some rooms the conversations are like very good very interesting very uh, insightful but uh, probably i would say like 60% of them are like nonsense because people just don't know what they want to do or what they want to talk they just start creating a rooms and start talking but uh, it's just a matter of uh, days when you realize that you can uh, actually uh, go ahead and uh, judge yourself what uh, room is good or what room is not good in the, the, the first few minutes of it so that's something which uh, kept me uh, occupied i would say not really occupied but uh, kept me entertained probably uh, so that's one thing which i wanted to tell about so now when i go back to youtube and check the videos a lot of more vloggers have uh travelers to be more specific have started coming out be it in maharashtra delhi or for that matter even in karnataka everyone wants to go out everyone wants to start traveling everyone wants to go to ladakh i don't know for some reason ladakh has been in like big limelight uh this season maybe people are like desperate that they couldn't do it last year so they very badly want to go there i'm not here to tell whether it's a good idea or bad idea um, i just leave to those people just that i would say be careful be safe that's it nothing more than that anyways um yeah i mean if you're wondering uh, if you've already noticed the dash i am kind of parallel to hesargata lake that's where i am that's where i had put my map to uh, i have come here quite a few times in the past but i was taking the bike i was taking few shortcut routes instead of the main road you would have noticed in the early part of the video so that's why i put the maps so probably i would not go beyond what it is showing right now which is another probably half a kilometer from here so i'll take a u turn and i'll head back home it's almost 6:30 in the evening now i don't want to be away and create some kind of a panic in the house because this is the first time i'm coming out after almost 2 months and they are more worried about the pandemic situation than me taking my bike out they just worried that i'll go and sit in some hotel and drink some coffee or i go to some crowded places which i promise them and i promise everyone that i'll not do until i know it is safe to do so i actually love this stretch this last bit bit of thing where it is almost like parallel to the lake and this stretch i love i love it because uh, you come here in the morning you can hear birds throughout the stretch and probably if you're lucky enough you might uh, sight a few peacocks as well um, which would be feeding on one of these fields it's really nice to watch them it's refreshing and that's exactly what we need now so that's it guys that was like a uh, i'm back here kind of a motor vlog i just didn't plan anything uh to speak i didn't have anything in my mind in fact like uh just this morning i decided that i'll go out i didn't even come out in the morning to do so i just decided in the afternoon that i will step out and i searched where my gopro was i went ahead and charged it up search for my memory card which was all deep inside my wardrobe uh the helmet was had not seen the light since last two and a half months so i just sorted everything out i just stepped out and got my uh, bike refueled and uh, just came here 
as well. That's pretty much it. And as I told, um, probably in the coming weeks, I'll be doing a video about that uh, community or the platform. What I told, uh, just look out for that. And uh, I think probably I'll definitely be putting up some posts on my Twitter handle also uh, where you can get to know about uh, that particular platform uh, I don't have anything else so I'll just ride as I told you I'll just ride for another probably half a kilometer or one on one kilometer more which leads to the end of this road and take a U-turn and come back home so that's exactly what I want to do so take care um, please uh, stay safe and uh, as I told you I will repeat it even if you get bored uh, please make sure that you get vaccinated please make sure that you get your family members vaccinated and if at all if you decide to step out of the house take your bike out don't forget to wear the helmet okay thank you so much for listening and um, i'll talk to you very soon okay bye bye